New op-ed takes aim at evangelical Christians who support President Trump amid allegations of extramarital affairs. The piece is titled, Evangelicals Sell Their Souls for Trump. Juan Williams writes, It now seems clear that evangelical Christians who hold up biblical edicts on lying, cheating, and adultery don't care about the word of God when it comes to Trump. And it gets tougher from there. Here now, Juan Williams and Dr. Robert Jeffress, a pastor at the First Baptist Church in Dallas and a Fox News contributor and Juan Williams, co-host of The Five and a Fox News political analyst. Uh, pastor Jeffress, yes. what's your response? <laughs> well, look, my friend Juan, I think, has it all wrong on this. Let me just share this perspective. Evangelicals had a binary choice in 2016 between Donald Trump, who admittedly, by his own admission, is not a Sunday school teacher or a saint, but he has become the most pro-life, pro-religious liberty, pro-Israel president in history. The other choice was Hillary Clinton. And although my friend Juan describes her as kind of St. Hillary of Chappaqua, <laughs> she's hardly a bastion of morality herself. I mean, here is a woman who publicly shamed and blamed the women who had been assaulted by her husband. She supports abortion, unrestricted. But how can you criticize her for those million. things and not him for the other well, things? Well, listen, David, let's say, here's the point. We had a choice between the two, gotcha. uh, both of them. Uh, we had a choice between the two. And what I would ask is, in what universe would anybody say Hillary Clinton was more moral than Donald Trump? And my point is simply this. If I am going to hell, Juan, like you say I am, for supporting Donald Trump, then that means you're going to be 100 floors below me for supporting Hillary Clinton. I mean, the fact is, we're all sinners, well, What do you think Martha? about that argument, Juan? I don't agree with it, obviously. I mean, so, I mean, I came at this from a political perspective, which is I'm very interested in understanding why white evangelical Protestants are so supportive of Donald Trump. I think now it's 68 percent, Martha. It's yeah. the policies. Double, double every other demographic or religious group in America. So when Michael Cohen, the president's personal lawyer, said last week he paid $135,000 to a porn star, on top of that you have the New Yorker and the Wall Street Journal reporting about a Playboy playmate who had an affair with the president. And then you have the FBI director saying, oh, yeah, and we told him about a man who was abusing yeah. two wives and nothing. Now, I why think, do you think this why? stuff doesn't stick? You know, when, when you. Well, look so back, I listen when... to Pastor Jeffress and he says the policies matter. It's not the fact that this man, as president of the United States, uh, is a role model for us as a society. And I, I just think that you're buying into the idea that the policies matter, but character and Christian Doctrine are, you saying, don't though, are you saying that Hillary has more character than well, Donald listen, here's, Trump? Here's my when point. You have flawed but that's candidates. kind of what aboutism, isn't it? Well, you have to go to the policies then if you have two flawed characters. Well, that's and what's look, going on here. So yeah. evangelicals are saying all we care about is the conservative judges. We care about uh, life. Those are the issues that they say they care about. What I find interesting, though, Juan, I mean, I think you make a very interesting argument here. But I'm wondering if, you know, if, if Bill Clinton didn't wear people down, you know, mm -hmm. and when they look at what they maybe didn't know, about Jack Kennedy. They say, you know what? We don't necessarily expect the president to be a moral leader. What we want is somebody who's going to make the changes and uh, do Martha, the policies that we like. I'm asking right, you, no, is okay. that what's going on? So, okay, that's possible, but I don't think that's exactly what's going on. I think there's a little bit of hypocrisy involved here for okay. people who no. stand He's calling you a hypocrite. Right. Right. No, he says you don't care about the facts. He says I'm going to hell, too, I for selling my soul. I didn't see so that in the op-ed. He, he said, I've sold my soul. But imagine if President Obama whose policies you disagree with. Right. But let's say yeah. he was a president of the United States. If his lawyer was paying a porn star money or was endorsing a candidate who was allegedly involved with sex with young girls as president Trump, what would president you say? Trump, you would have, have gone Look, I would say that was wrong, but I would not say that is grounds for impeachment, okay? And that's what we're talking about But why about would here. you vote for such a person? And why would I you continue to... I wouldn't vote for to, such a person. But, but 68% of, uh, it Father was Je because Pastor Jeffries continue to support Donald Trump. It's because of the policies. It's absolutely wow, because of the Wow, so you close policies. your eyes. It's like, we see no evil. What are we going to do? Throw him out of office because of things that are alleged? None of these things have been proven, by the way. These are all allegations as opposed to Bill Clinton, who committed these deeds when he was in the off in, in office, specifically the Oval Office with Monica Lewinsky. Well, right, let, let, don't let forget that. Guys, and there was a blue dress to prove it. We don't have a right, blue dress in this. this and this was in the There's past. No blue dress. This is not while he was in office. All right. Well, let, let me ask you guys this, because, you know, we talked a lot last night about Reverend Graham, right? Reverend Graham uh, really 
maintained friendships with Republicans and Democrats. He stood by the side of Richard Nixon. He stood by the side of Jimmy Carter. He stood by the side of all of these individuals and did not judge them. He said, you know, you, you can hate the sin, but not the sin. You hate the sinner. The sin, sin but not, not the, the sinner. sinner. Yeah. Thank you. Um, you know, so, so have people in the evangelical community become too partisan? Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, Billy Graham was a member of my church for 54 years, so his passing was a very personal thing for me. But I think he had the right message we all need to hear right now. And the fact is, none of us is perfect. There are no perfect TV commentators, pastors, or presidents. We've all fallen. We are all sinners. We need a Savior, and that's why Christ came. And so I think we need to, this finger pointing needs to stop. We're all imperfect, but when it comes to political candidates that we elect, we have to look at the policy. I can't think of anyone who's run for office on either side of the aisle that has a perfect character. So Billy, well, got to look at the so Billy Graham said at the end of his life, he said, I wish I'd spent more time with the gospel and less time with politicians. He did. And so my thoughts is I don't understand why the evangelical Christian community, knowing what President Trump said during the campaign about grab him and now this latest revelations about his personal lawyer paying money to a porn star, isn't able to say, you know, we like your policies, but you are a troubled soul and you don't hold up our standards Look, as let me Christians. Say this. Look, let me say, President Trump is a friend of mine. I love him. I support him. But the fact is, we are all sinners. But and I think a, well, we're all sinners. You and wouldn't have dealing, said that about Obama. Yes, I would, especially <laughs> if they were allegations that have not been proven. Oh, these are proof. We have to blame. No, what's the lawyer paying no, for? Where's the blue dress? Oh, my God. What's, the lawyer, the, what's the lawyer where's paying the blue for? Dress? The lawyer's paying Christopher Ray, the FBI director's line. If lying? they did happen, they were things in the past. Okay. It's different than what is yeah. happening all right, right guys. now. Good, good to see you both. Very good conversation. <laughs> Thank you very much to both Thank of you for being here. Are. I appreciate it. <laughs>